Welcome to Bay Area Focus. My next guest is a Yale and Harvard educated physician who has devoted his entire career to helping couples grappling with infertility. Dr. Colin Smichael is the director of Laurel Fertility Care. Welcome to Bay Area Focus. Thank you. Well, this is a big problem, infertility. It is a big problem and women are actually managing now and couples in general. So that's actually one of the things that we focus on. What is the cause of infertility? Does it vary depending on the person? Well, there are a lot of different causes to it. Um, before, you had to have women who had um, either problems with tubal factors, men with low sperm counts, couples who have been trying for a long period of time. Um, one of the things we focus now on is that as couples get older, they have more challenges, so therefore they're going to have to resort to more aggressive treatments in order to conceive. So um, there may not be one specific cause that we can actually focus on, but many patients come through our doors looking for treatments to have their families. And are you seeing more and more uh, families, well, more and more couples waiting to have families until later? Especially right. in the Bay Area, we're seeing that a lot. Mm -hmm. And we're seeing that couples who uh, they've been either had a family before and now have um, another um, partner and they're looking to, to have another child, so they're going to start later. As you start later, then you're going to end up facing more challenges. It becomes more difficult. There are more risks in terms of doing that. So going through infertility treatment is a more effective way to be consistent and also um, effective. So that's what we're looking at. And sometimes there's just an unexplained reason for correct. infertility, right? That is correct. And one of the things is that, especially as young women are trying uh, it's below 30 or 35, they've been trying for some time and have been unsuccessful, then they may actually start looking for the causes for um, treatment for of why they can't conceive. Sometimes we don't know, and so therefore they'll actually go into the unexplained factor. And unfortunately, uh, we still deal with those in terms of helping them have their families. And sometimes, when, well, I guess when we think of infertility, we think of women, but it affects men, men That's well. true. That is true. Um, we always think about, well, the, the half of the equation with men, men pr um, produce the sperm, but a lot of the factors is just that if they have low sperm counts or no sperm, that's one significant factor that we have to contribute as well. The unfortunate thing is that although it may relate to men, the problem is we have to um, treat the women because they're the ones producing the eggs and then we can take the sperm and fertilize the eggs for them to conceive. So let's talk treatment and options for couples out there who may be having some issues right now. Okay. So let's say young couple, they've been trying for a while and they've been, um, they want to have their family. They may start going through uh, less aggressive measures, so oral medicines to basically just have them ovulate consistently and uh, either timing in the course at home or just doing what we call the intrauterine inseminations. Those are ways for them to try to build their families. If that's not successful or if there's specific factors that limit that being a successful, they may go on to more aggressive treatments like in vitro fertilization or IVF. It seems egg freezing is pretty mm. big, pretty common right now. That is actually a very common thing right now. Uh, women are actually delaying when they're starting to have their families mm -hmm. or they're going through uh, job opportunities. So therefore, they're looking at ways in terms of preserving the opportunities for the future. Egg freezing allows them to basically do just that, freeze time, freeze their opportunity to parent in the future. So we know that especially as women are in um, the force where they're looking at specific ways, that they can freeze eggs today and they'll be successful whatever time in the future. So therefore, a lot more um, couples are looking, or women are looking for that opportunity. Okay, so a couple is having issues. When is it time to seek treatment? When do you think, okay, something may be wrong? One thing that we know is, is that if, if you're not ovulating, women are not ovulating, or if you know there's a specific cause, men don't have sperm, you have to go to treatment right away. There's no way into delaying. If a couple, you have regular cycles, then it, it's important to say, well, say try for some time. Typically, if you're under 35, say trying for six or 12 months. If that doesn't work, then definitely seek in treatment. If you know there's a specific factor that may be causing a problem, then it's definitely gonna be important to seek treatment earlier. If you're over 35, then you have to wait a lot less time. So then you're looking at starting to look for treatment as, as three or four months, so that's different. And you obviously have had so many experience uh, working with couples. Uh, there is hope for them, right? There is a lot of hope, even for older women who are actually trying um, for having their families. Um, there's a lot more technologies now that allow them to 
that even determine the quality of the eggs, the quality of the embryos, genetically test the embryos to make sure they're normal before they're transferring. So there are a lot of ways where patients can be successful in terms of achieving their goals. Okay, well, Dr. Smichael, thank you so much for coming oh, on the show and telling welcome. us all about it. And for more information, be sure to go to the Fertility Center's website, laurelfertility.com. Coming up, healing with sound when Bay Area Focus returns.